I don't agree with that at all, because in Jamibora, we know that you can reach the very poor. And not just reach them and feel sorry for them and pat them on the head and say, you know, we are going to help you to come above the poverty line. If you think this is the poverty line now, you want to lift them just above the poverty line. Our experience is, first of all, that the most desperate are the ones who need microfinance the most. And they can handle it. And we have proven that. It's not something that is a theory. It is a proven fact. And that they are not climbing only just above the dollar a day. They shoot up very high. They become, some of them, extremely successful business people. And most of them, the average we figure is they have three employees each on average. And you see, that means that we are creating jobs and they don't go out and hire from Harvard Business School. They don't hire from Nairobi University. They hire the people they have known from before, which are our other members, you see. So we think that, and we, we feel we know, and we can prove that you can reach the very poor. And the poorer they are, the more they need the microfinance. And they don't need charity, because it's charity is a way to keep people down. If you keep saying, if I say to you, Sam, I feel very sorry for you because you can't manage this yourself, you start thinking that one should feel sorry for me because I can't manage myself. But if we say to you, you can make it. You have talents. God has given you talents, like he's given everybody talents, and he wants you to use them. And you see some of your friends who are begging beside you on the same street now walk around in nice dresses, their children are in school, they eat three meals a day, they live in a better house. Then you also dare to dream that that is possible for me also. If you come and give a beggar a hundred dollars and say, you go and start a business, they will run away with that money. You have to prepare everybody for what it is, you see. And we think you have to start by getting them to save. Because then they're in, in that habit of setting aside a bit of money every day. That makes it easy for them to pay back the loan. You also have to be there and encourage when the problems come. The city authorities chase you away from where you're doing your business. They might even take, the police officer takes your goods, or thieves break into your little kiosk, or you have a fire that breaks down everything. You can't be like a normal banker and say, OK, we will still hunt you. You have to bring the money back. You, you come together and say, now, how would we solve this situation? And you help them get on their feet so that they are helped to pay back the old loan, but also a new loan. It's, it's a matter of being there all the time and understanding. If you are naive and you just go to anyone who has never talked about a loan, who doesn't know any group, who have never, who don't trust you or anything, and you say, here's $100, go and start a business, then you will lose that money. And there are naive people who do that. And I think those are the ones who are spreading this dangerous message that you can't reach the very poor. Because they've did, done it the wrong way themselves, not because you can't reach the very poor. We have grown to be the biggest, the largest microfinance organization in Kenya, and yet we are supporting the poorest of the poor, and they are very many. Now we think we're ready to grow. We have held back on growth a bit because we needed a new MIS system in place. We needed a technology to be, be networked with the whole country, which we are today. And we have reached 25% of all the households in two of Kenya's worst slum areas, Mathari Valley and Huruma next to each other. So we have said, now let's make that our target for the whole country. So our target is to reach 25% of the households, one and a half million households in 10 years. But many of us think we should reach that goal earlier than those 10 years. And we think it's possible.